What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to create a Peerfly custom domain. You may want to do this because it just makes promotion of your products from Peerfly so much easier. Rather than having those ugly affiliate links, you have a domain that you chose that you can promote. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing we'll want to do is click on tracking domains here. Now I have actually made a video on this in the past but there was a little mistake I made so I did want to update it and have a revised video. So over here I've already added as you can see a domain just so I can show you that it's been in the approved status after waiting some time. So what you will have to do if you want to add a domain is first of course you will need to purchase a domain on Namecheap. Um, I'll include my link down below my affiliate link from Namecheap. You can buy some really cheap domains there if you're interested but first thing you'll have to do is buy a domain. Let's imagine I bought this domain, free.dogcaller.win, okay? Let's suppose that's the domain I want to use. Let's suppose there's some pet product. Let's suppose it's a, it's a dog collar product and that's what I want to promote, okay? So what we'll do here is then we'll go to add a domain and this will tell you the IP addresses to which you can um, point your domain to in order for it to work. Now here's the catch. It says here clearly that please replace all a records on the domain with the following a records that is actually not correct so you have to pick one not all three okay and so select one that you want in this case you know let's take the first one we're going to copy that we're going to go back to our domain we're going to click on manage domains whatever it is make sure it says namecheap basic dns if you're with namecheap if you're with other providers just make sure it, you don't have the server pointing anywhere else with custom DNS records and then go to advanced DNS and this is where we will update the settings. So over here you need to make sure that you have an A record pointing to one of these values. Again it's not all three okay it has to be only one not all three and you know make sure it's set to add which is what we have and ttl to one hour now in this case it's automatic it doesn't matter too much uh, but you could change this to make it one hour as they say uh, you know 60 minutes um, won't really matter much it will still take 24 to 48 hours for it to process up to sometimes it will be faster okay so Here's the thing, if you have also other A records pointing elsewhere, such as if you're tracking with ClickMagic and you have this domain, you know, the root domain without any subdomain, anything like that as a tracking link for ClickMagic, note that it's either one or the other. So either you use this for Peerfly only, or you use it as a ClickMagic tracking link. You cannot use both. So you cannot have an A record pointing here and pointing towards click magic you know the the, the click magic ip 50.97.212.250 you cannot have it pointing both places so pick only one so that's kind of the big distinction and really big point i wanted to highlight because it's it's really different than what it says here right? it says to add all of them and so you're thinking hey if i can add all of them that means i can have more than one that means i can have maybe even a click magic one a click funnels one etc etc no, you cannot pick one, okay? So once you do that and you select one, you're pretty much done. That is it. Now you would need to go into offers and just select the domain. It's a bit easier than with CPA lead. and CPA lead, you have to kind of manually take the domain, you know, put it into the notepad, plug it in. In uh, Peerfly, you know right away whether it works or not because it gives you the option to do so. Now, if you have other records here, for example, I'm tracking with ClickMagic, I'm using you know, track.free.caller.win as my tracking link, that's totally fine. But you cannot have another A record pointing to another IP address, okay? So just wanted to throw that out there. If you're tracking with ClickMagic, that is also totally fine. And I have a full ClickMagic playlist if you want to see how to integrate that stuff, check it up, it's up above. So now that we've done that, now that we've plugged it in, we need to come here, we may need to refresh here, and we just need to make sure that it says approved. Once you do that, when you go to any of your offers, okay, so let's just go to browse offers. Let's pick the very first offer we see, which is this Roblox offer. You should see that option right there. So instead of this nasty affiliate link, now you have your domain that you can use, right? Lovely. And if for some reason, you know, 
this domain is blacklisted maybe if you're promoting on Facebook or Google and this domain is blacklisted because this domain is associated for every single product and this is the domain that every Peerfly affiliate is using guess what now you have your own domain you have a chance to use this again to promote your products if the basic Peerfly um, domain has been blacklisted okay so a uh, really cool thing I, I wanted to show you and point out to you. This was, I think, important because of that little distinction there where it says replace all A records, whereas you only needed to do one. So I thought it was important to kind of bring that out and, and show you how it's done. Uh, so that's all in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, how to's, etc., etc. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Otherwise, Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.